Here we go! Alright guys, today, on today's video, we're talking about catch cans. Why you may want one, what they do, and how to install one of these. We got two catch cans here, one made by Evolution Power Sports, the other one made by RPM Power Sports. Serve the same exact purpose, uh, different construction, but pretty much the same exact thing. They both drain oil here, they both have air filters, and they both have inlets from the holes uh, that we're going to reroute. So, why do you need an oil catch can? Do you need one? I wouldn't say you need one, but it is better for performance. It's better for the life of the engine. It's uh, better for multiple reasons. If you are someone that runs E85, or maybe you're in a cold weather environment where there's a lot of condensation, it's a good idea to get a catch can. Uh, for example, you know, there's a lot of condensation in the motor. Instead of that getting recycled back into your intake and getting reburned by your cylinders, it goes into the catch can. Um, another reason is on turbocharged systems, when there's high boost, um, that boost inside your cylinders when the combustion happens, some of that gets by your piston rings and that's called blow-by. That blow-by catches some oil, kind of makes an evaporative oil mess that uh, gets recycled into your intake and you end up reburning that. So, yes, science! The reason you don't want to reburn that is because it kind of contaminates your air-fuel mixture and also that oily mess can kind of cake onto your valves, can cake onto you know the intake the turbo stuff like that so it's better to have one of these clean up your uh, air intake system and um it just makes some overall cleaner uh air fuel mixture for your engine a few moments later so today we have the rpm catch can and the evil catch can cj is opting for evolution power sports catch can because uh he's pretty much been running mostly evolution power sports products right uh cj yeah, Evo needs to hurry up with that 2021 tune for the RRs. We really want it. The RPM catch can, I'm not going to install it, but I do want to show it off to you guys because it's pretty much the same exact process. This one's going to end up going in on my X3. What the hell? is pantalones over there on my X3. <laughs> this one's going to go on my X3, uh, but we're going to do the Evo one on uh, CJ's X3. So, Also, quick note, Evo does give you in the packaging some paper colored instructions, which is always nice to have. And the RPM gives you um, a link for their instructions online so also i know i'm wearing rpm stuff but i'm not trying to be biased they're both great companies evo makes some of the best stuff out there in rpm although not as um i guess established as evo they're also making great stuff so that's why we're showing both of them off to you guys because they're both comparable products they're both comparable prices and they're both gonna do the same job for you guys so so real quick the differences between these catch cans uh you know the packaging doesn't really matter the they both have uh filters at the very ends so fumes are going into this catch can and then kind of exiting that way that oily blow by doesn't get you know all over your cage or all over your components same thing with the evil one this is the inlet for the evil one and then it comes out this air filter uh, we did notice that the air filter from Evo is kind of like a paper style HEPA filter, whereas the one from RPM is more of your K&N style. Uh, I'm not sure which one will last longer. That's for you guys to decide. The Evo one um, is a CNC two-piece design. So there's these Allens up here that sandwich um, and you know it's two halves, but they're CNC machine. It's really nice. The RPM one is a welded. It's a tube welded at the top, welded on the sides where all the fittings are at. And then there's another drain here at the bottom. So very similar, um, you know, in terms of shape, but they are constructed very differently. Uh, serve the same purpose. There's baffles in there to catch the oil. Um, and you'll drain that probably every other oil change or maybe every oil change. You know, it's very simple to do and easy to get to. Uh, one thing I did notice is that uh, RPM gives you this barbed fitting, which you push on the hose and you don't really have to put a clamp because it's barbed and the hose is not going to come off. Versus Evo's gives you the small little stub, which is okay. They do give you a clamp, which is really nice. And um, we'll show you guys how to install that because we're going to stick this one on the car. So let's do it. Let's do it. All right, because CJ's X3 has the bump seat um, that I used to have, it's kind of hard to get that cover off. So we decided to sneak it out through here. And it's going to be difficult to see, but we already capped off the intake uh, box coupler with that little nipple there. I'm going to show you guys that on the uh, intake box that I have. That uh, coupler there normally has this hose hooked up. So this hose goes to that. The blow-by gases go through here and they get recycled through your intake. We're rerouting this. This is going to go to the corner over here. Um, where we're going to mount our catch can and it's going to go to the catch can instead of getting reburned by our engine. So we capped off that end. I'm going to show you guys that on this box that I have here. Because I am converting my uh, 2018 X3 to the 2020 style intake box because this port is bigger but that's going to be for another time uh so they do give you a cap both rpm and evo give you a cap you pretty much cap this off you can run a hose clamp and put that on there use the factory hose clamp that you know 
used to be on this hose because we're not going to use this so this would normally go on here um, for the rpm version you use the hose clamp the oem one for the evil version they do give you another one of these clamps that you can use one of these tools to install and um i'll show you guys how to do that and i'll put a link in the description for this uh tool as well as the catch cans so it's much easier to do it from the other side um we just didn't want to take off the seat so we did it through here we took off some of these you know ducting i don't think you have to do that um pretty much just uh remove it from the other side get the hose off you gotta cut a couple zip ties that are holding this harness here and then you can pull the holes towards this side over here all right install is pretty simple for both they both have these clamps on them with allens they're different sizes but same exact thing and then for the rpm one you literally just grab the hose and you push it on to the bar fitting and then you know just clamp it on and you're done that's it for the uh, evil one we're going to show you guys right now so we're going to first install this on here you know what we'll probably just slap this on now huh so we're going to put that on there so there's the uh cash can installed just route your holes on top of it and that's when this tool comes in place uh it's really cool you just kind of pinch the two ends and then we have to turn this a little bit and that's done and that's it see how it pinches the uh clamp and now that's not gonna come off so uh it's really simple to install these cash cans and they do serve a purpose uh, especially like i said if you're in the winter areas if you run the 85 if um i mean you play in the snow stuff like that um it's good to have and even if you're out here in the summer like or summer if you're out here in hot weather like california like we are uh, it's still a good idea um it keeps that oily substance that oily blow by from caking onto your valves from caking on you know to the the walls of the intake or the tubes and the intercooler because they're you know the intercooler can have uh some oil residue in there as well from the oil getting in there it's kind of like a um what do you call it like a labyrinth to get out of that thing so um that can get caked up with oil so it's good to have they're affordable they're about 200 bucks i think the evil one is about 200 bucks and then the rpm one is about 190 um and i do have a discount code with rpm power sports so i'll leave that in the description down below so let me show you what the evil one looks like real quick installed finished up there's that and we'll show you guys the rpm version installed on this uh, customer's car right here so here's rpms very similar in the way they install um one difference i would say is that the uh the evo only comes in black you get rpm one in silver if you really want one in silver i think they look better in black so rpm makes one in black and evo makes one in black uh same purpose you know whatever you guys want to grab if you run evil parts probably get an evil catch can if you run rpm parts get an rpm catch can or mix and match it doesn't really matter but that's it for this video short one for you guys see you guys in the next one peace out